you stupid lost boys. I warned you. I told you I had something special for you, but you still fell right into our trap. And I know you're sitting there wondering why? How could this have happened? And I would tell you why, but I think it could be better explained by Luke. Why? You want to know why, Gabriel? Azrael? Well, I'll tell you why. Because for the last six months of my life, I sat home day in and day out thinking about how all my precious little time at Wildside was wasted away. Just so I can be your savior? Well, I never said I'd be your savior. Hell, I never said I'd be anyone's savior. We all know that I'm better than you. I'm better than that whole damn locker room. And I see nothing but gold in my future. So it's time for me to get my shine on. And I'll leave that in the name of Luke, Jeff G. Bailey, and the NWA. Right now. They achieved the impossible. One, two, three. They defeated the team that weighs damn near a ton. Of course, I'm talking about Tank and Iceberg. And it was an amazing victory, of course. Al Getz Enterprises has plenty of liberal involvement in that. Now we see a crisscross between Crew Jones and Sean Temper's big hip toss by the All-Star. And Al Getz Enterprises is in full force out here tonight. Ah, Crew Jones and Sweet Dreams, of course, a tag team. Uh, at first, it was Sweet Dreams and Skeeter Frost. Skeeter Frost su uh, suffered a unfortunate separated shoulder. Crew Jones stepped in, and this team has stepped it up a notch. And right now, he's got the Sugar Sean Timbers on its back into that shoulder tackle. Huge crisscross. Crew and Jones nails him with the high leg lariat there, and the tag made out to the seven figure deal, Ace Rockwell. Ace Rockwell has become even more impossibly cocky since wearing those tag team belts. And you know what? I like it. The guy, I mean, look at the body. This guy's got a million dollar body. He's got a million dollar mind. That's why he's the seven figure deal, Ace Rockwell. Guy's a God gifted athlete. And these tag team belts, they were his birthright. And now Ace Rockwell mocking the dance moves of sweet dreams. Rockwell likes to talk a lot of trash, really likes to get in the head of his opponents. He is not mocking. He is improving the dance moves of one sweet dreams. Ace Rockwell can cut a rug. What the hell was that? What do you mean, what was that? That was a seven-figure move. Rockwell coming off the ropes, trying for the quick advantage, but Sweet Dream catches him, high back body drop, wild side tag team champions. But Sean Tempers cuts him off from the behind. And right there's Crew Jones, right to meet Sean Tempers. Big Thund right hand by Crew Jones. Thunderous right hand by Crew Jones, that is. And out goes the sugar, Sean Tempers. Now why is Crew Jones going after Jeff Lewis? And Todd Sexton. Sending the interfering out gets Enterprises off the apron. Sweet dreams has Rockwell. What's this going to be? He's got him in the torture rack. Spins him around. Tombstone pile driver. But he spins him right into Mike Posey. Wait a minute. Alabama Attitude's out at the ringside area. Going right after Sweet Dreams. You know, we've seen them last week in a devastating loss to Iceberg and Tank. But it looks like they brushed that one off. Big leg drop by TC Carnage. The and attitude the adjustment on the Sweet Dreams. Alabama attitude. Attacking them. And puppet circumstance retain the titles. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of this match. And still NWA Wild Side Tag Team Champions. Ace Rockwell, Sean Tippers, Pump, and Circumstance. Well, Mr. Renato, I understand you've
requested this interview time in regards to the upcoming super event, Hardcore Hell 2005. What's going on? Well, Dragon, before we get this party started, before we get this party started, I heard somebody's having a birthday party tonight. Is it somebody's birthday over here? How, how old are you today? 13? Well, I think that's legal in a redneck town like this. Cool, cool, hey, hey, cool. It's all you, buddy, it's all you. Everybody's afraid of us. 
Apparently, rednecks don't understand. He's not a zero anymore. Third reason. Third reason. Nobody, and I mean nobody, has butts cuter than these. Until then.